Hello everyone, Rain here with Audio Plugin Deals, and today we have yet another deal for you. And this one's quite an exciting one for Impact Soundworks Evocative World Bundle. It's got a few, as you might expect, worldly instruments within it, so really can't wait to get stuck in showing you guys these. Just one quick note before we start, I'm recording this intro after doing the rest of the video, and my screen recording software was having a little bit of a tantrum, so if you see it, uh, a couple of funny things where it freezes up a little bit, it's not the instruments, I promise, they're actually very compact and CPU efficient, but my screen recording software was just not having it. So hopefully it doesn't detract from the experience too much. Apart from that, just make sure, as always, that you are subscribed to the channel, that you've liked the video, and that you also have the notifications on so you can always be aware when our new videos and deals drop. Now, on with the rest of it. Okay, so I have a session open here that has the five instruments we're going to be looking at that are in this bundle. The first of those is the Tin Whistle from the Ventus Ethnic Winds series. The Tin Whistle is, uh, of course, an Irish instrument. It's quite a small wind instrument compared to some of the others that you'll find. And if we look into this interface and the instrument here, you can see that they've added quite a few ways to insert some character into it. So you of course have these ornaments. So this big ornament control here is the ornament chant. So if you slide it around, see ornament amount. Uh, and then so, yeah, the amount of ornamentation that will be added. And then you have attack ornaments here, release ornaments here, and you can select them and increase the chance of each one of those ornaments being applied. So if we just, uh, you can see I've sort of made a track that will run through in full, but if we just solo the tin whistle, you can hear uh, some of the ornaments that I've applied. So you hear some trills and things in there, so um, yeah, you can decorate it with all of these, so you can either randomize them from this menu, or you can see that below the main melody line, there's a few key switches put in there, you see these key switches at the bottom, you can manually dictate what articulations are being used. If you look more at the articulations menu here, you can see an in-depth list, and so, you know, we've got uh, legato and portamento controlled uh, by your MIDI controls, and then all of these key switches for the different individual articulations, and you can select whether they're latching or not. So if you select them to latch, then it means that once you have put in that articulation, activated that key switch, then uh, it will continue to affect all of the sounds until a different articulation is selected and the red keys are the ones that are latching. So if I turn the sustain trill on, you see that that key went red, and there you go. So you have really great control over all the articulations. Then you also have the effects page, and that just has these basic effects here. So you can dial in the amount of reverb and everything, customize the sound uh, before your other plugins and things. And then finally, you have um, these parts of the main page I didn't quite touch on yet, which is uh, the mic uh, amounts from each mic, the close and the room, and also the stereo width is the bar at the bottom. And then you have the envelope, you have transposition and fine tuning, so you can make it go slightly off center with the tuning. And then also you have this micro tuning, so if you select the key root note, then you can uh, apply micro tunings to every note in the scale. So moving on, we are continuing with another instrument from the Ventus Ethnic Winds series, and this time it is the Bansuri from North India, and I believe it's also used in Nepal, and this is another really beautiful flute, uh, and it has a lot of the similar controls to the tin whistle, even though it's a very different sound and different choice of ornaments. The way you apply them all is quite similar uh, within this Ventus series, so the 
the same type of ornament selection, you have the same articulation and effects menus, the uh, mic controls and everything, key switches and, and latching to dictate, but it has a slightly different selection of ornaments. The tin whistle had a few more and slightly more intricate ones, but these are more aimed at controlling sustained notes. They also have slightly more options for release ornaments. The tin whistle only had two. Something I also forgot to mention was that with this page here, you have just below where the waveforms appear, you have the dynamics, uh, you have the vibrato and flutter, and you'll notice these little arrows. So as well as setting the amount of vibrato, you can set the type of vibrato. So whether it's natural, smooth, whether you're using aftertouch, uh, and then again, natural flutter, or whether you are wanting aftertouch to apply to the flutter control. So now to just play this little section that has the bansuri in it. Um, and then again, you'll hear all these layers play together, but you know, this was just one little example so you can hear the raw sounds. Okay, so moving on, because we do have a lot of instruments to get through, we're now looking at the fascinating and unique Javanese gamelan. Uh, so yeah, gamelan is a really interesting and exciting instrument uh, in both Javanese and indeed Balinese. This VST is modeling, modeling Javanese, but there's also a Balinese version that is a bit of a different sound. Uh, but in both of those uh, gamelan, they have their own unique tuning system and it's really different to what we'd be used to in Western music because it's like different ways of dividing up the octave. So whereas we have 12 tone equal temperament, they have the slendro scale, which is five tone equal temperament roughly. And then they also have pillog, which is a heptatonic scale, but it's got, uh, it's not equal temperament. So the way the octave is divided is not consistent intervals and it's really fascinating and unique sounds uh, and you can actually select that those types of tonalities within this VST. I was really pleased to see that the Gamelan VST includes those tunings. So firstly you have the ensemble which doesn't have those tunings but allows you to select all the instruments because a gamelan is an ensemble. Gamelan is not one instrument. But you can also have individual gamelans in your contact instrument. And so you see I've got a couple of layers here. I've separated out a couple of the uh, a couple of the instruments from the ensemble. And so we have the picking here. When you have the individual instruments, you can see that you have the scale selection. Uh, and I can quickly show you what the uh, what the native Indonesian scales sound like. So if we go to Slendro, this is like the most classic one, and we can play through here. Uh, and then you have Pelog as well, which is that uh, heptatonic scale. And you can hear that those intervals are, you know, really unique. And maybe if it's your first time hearing it to a Western ear, it can sound a bit strange. But as you hear more of it, it sounds very natural and it's really quite beautiful. I would definitely recommend checking out some traditional gamelan performances and gamelan composers. But for the sake of this piece, I did do the uh, piece in equal temperament. Uh, I would love to do a full gamelan piece at some point after I've got stuck into this instrument a bit more uh, in the more traditional tunings but because it's playing alongside other instruments I've used equal temperament and the other reason I've separated out a couple of layers is that in gamelan it's also a unique way of thinking about the ensemble and compositionally and conceptually because the way gamelan is arranged is traditionally composed as being different interlocking sections rhythmically so within your rhythmic structure uh, you know if you have a set number of beats or something 
then every instrument will play on certain set beats usually and the idea is that it creates this harmonious interlocking structure and the instruments all blend into each other because a lot of the instruments within the gamelan are uh, more or less uh, homogeneous in terms of the sound if that's the right word really it's a fascinating instrument you we could do a, easily a whole video on gamelan uh, both as a VST and just a, a real instrument and its composition but um, yeah so it's a very exciting instrument to be part of this bundle and I've tried to sort of replicate that idea of the interlocking performance with the way I've set this out so you can listen to it here in terms of some of these specific controls for the actual instrument as well because I've, I've talked a lot about gamelan as a real instrument but in terms of the VST uh, you have the ways to edit specifically the selected instrument you can turn them all on and off within this ensemble and then you can humanize the volume and timing you can transpose them all you can tune them or detune them it's quite fun to change tweak the tuning very subtly because the tuning isn't often super precise and it creates beating effects from when things are just ever so slightly out of tune you might know of that phenomenon uh, and that's something that you can hear a lot in gamelan and then you have these universal playback and perform controls so you have envelopes you have tremolo you have some dynamics and things as well uh, and then within the perform you have again micro tuning similar to the, the ventus instruments uh, you also have the ability to lock to a scale if you want. If you have this off, it will be chromatic, of course. The second to last instrument is the Kageyama Taiko. So these are really exciting drums. I mean, you will have uh, heard Taikos for sure. I'm 100% confident, you know, even if you haven't explicitly listened to Japanese music or anything, they get used in cinematic music and trailer music all the time, and with good reason, because they are very powerful booming drums. I'm half Japanese myself and so I really have always loved taiko and I'm really happy that it's part of this bundle and I was able to try out this instrument. So you have all these different options again with this instrument so you can see there's a lot of notes in the keyboard that are possible so these purple ones are for this drum, these blue ones are for the chudaiko, so on and so forth and uh, you even have the options to play these little uh, ornaments on the table here and all the different options are for different areas of the drum to strike so this one doesn't have an articulations menu because the articulations are all just part of the keys whether you're going for edge shots, rim shots, center and you can change those articulations with this little key icon here and you can see that select key for articulation within the octave you can set one you can pick which instrument you're modifying you've also the names of the drums laid out here and whether you're going for center cross stick etc etc so you can just really play around with that make some quite dynamic rhythms and everything and you can have a little listen to part of the beat i made for the taiko Finally, we have another melodic instrument with the guzheng. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, the guzheng, which is a Chinese zither. And so this also has a fantastic range of articulations. This probably has the most options for articulations of everything in the bundle. And it uses their uh, tact, total articulation control uh, system that Impact Soundworks developed. Uh, and so this is also ways of assigning key switches and everything uh, and latching controls to the different sets of articulations that they have uh, so that's really useful to be able to really get into the nitty gritty of personalizing the sounds and you have this effects console as well uh, which allows you to integrate reverbs and 
EQs and everything, just like every other instrument we've seen. Uh, but yeah, you can really personalize the sound with the Guzhang and they have some really cool articulations available uh, as well as this big velocity control and we can have a listen to how that sounds. Excellent. Well, there you go. That is a very quick run through of everything. There was a lot to get through, but you can see there's some really exciting sounds in there. You could tell that I was getting uh, quite passionate about a few of the instruments, but I absolutely am someone who loves, 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 loves worldly music and exploring and studying non-Western music. So I was really glad to get the chance to be able to try out this bundle and you should definitely check it out as well because we do have a deal on it right now. That's what we do here at Audio Plugin Deals. I will play through the final full arrangement with all of these and then apart from that I'll leave you guys to it. I've been Rain with Audio Plugin Deals. See you in the next one.